With this circuit, we can use the op-amp to calculate the differences in voltages applied to the inputs. This type of circuit would have been used in analogue computers to make calculations. Let's examine the circuit components and then look at the formula used to find the output. The circuit has four resistors of equal value. They are labelled R1, R2, R3 and R4. We also have two DC power supplies labelled V1 and V2. V1 feeds through R1 to the inverting input. The op-amp output is connected through R2, then back to the inverting input to create a negative feedback loop. V2 feeds through R3 to the non-inverting input. R4 is connected between R3 and the non-inverting input and then connected to ground. What we want to achieve is that the output will show the difference in voltage between V2 and V1. It will calculate V2 minus V1. Let's look at the formula used to calculate the output. V out equals R2 plus R1 multiplied by R4 divided by R4 plus R3 multiplied by R1 multiplied by V2 minus R2 divided by R1 multiplied by V1. The formula is quite long but fairly simple so we will break it down into sections so it will be much clearer. So the first part of the formula is R2 plus R1 multiplied by R4. All the resistors are of the same value so the formula will look like this. 100 plus 100 multiplied by 100 which equals 20,000. This number is divided by the second part. R4 plus R3 multiplied by R1 multiplied by V2. So the values are 100 plus 100 multiplied by 100 which equals 20,000. We divide the two values, then multiply by 10. The last part of the formula, R2 divided by R1 multiplied by V1, so the values are 100 divided by 100 multiplied by 2.5, which equals 2.5. So with these values, the formula looks much simpler. 20,000 divided by 20,000 multiplied by 10 minus 2.5. 20,000 divided by 20,000 equals 1. 1 multiplied by 10 equals 10. 10 minus 2.5 equals 7.5. So the output voltage we would see is 7.5 volts, which is the correct value of the difference in the input voltages. So let's now go to the simulator and see the, uh, the circuit in action. So here we have the circuit in the simulator with the 2.5 volt and the 10 volt DC input. When we play the simulation, we can see the output voltage has been calculated by the circuit correctly and measures the expected 7.5 volts. If we were to adjust either V1 or V2, the output calculated the difference in the voltages. You may think that the voltages we have used are very simple to calculate anyway, but where numbers start to get complicated is when we work in very small numbers. If we now set V1 to 330 microvolts and V2 to 1.35 millivolts, 
this circuit can output the difference much quicker than we would trying to work out the answer.